What's up, everybody? Welcome back to the Giza Plains. I guess we're gonna go fight these guys. Super excited about that. This is not the mission I wanted to do, but they're forcing my hand. Clan Marble. I think we fought these guys before. We've fought these guys before is what I meant to say. Also, I'm starting to see a pattern recurring with these maps. <laughs> Starting to get a little familiar with the layouts of these battlefields. That's okay, though. They are interesting, so... It's no big deal. Where is Nero? Welcome back, Nero. I like him. I like Nero. He's cool. Uh, no confuse. Recommended Berserk. Okay. No problems there. Those are spells we won't know for a very long time, if at all. <laughs> I could have got a bunch of people new magic and new items, and I did not. And I don't care. We'll take care of that next time between episodes. Monk Tech. Air Render. Deer it. Nothing like getting punched from across a river. That must be, uh... That must be a special day for that archer. <laughs> yeah, I was just standing there, and then I just got this fist in the side of the head, but there was no one around me. <laughs> it was bullcrap. But I doubt he'll be alive long enough to be too upset about it. Yeah, I think this is going to be a quick fight. <laughs> this might end up as a very short episode, or a very long one, depending on how quickly I can take out the rest of these guys. Or how much of my time they waste by running around and doing things that are stupid. Well, let's throw him right here and we'll drop a protect on everybody. Because I was just complaining about wasting time, but eh. <laughs> well, they're archers, so it's not like they're going to be shooting at me, so... <laughs> Protect will probably be worn off by the time they actually see combat again. Babette! Ah, oh, that's a cute name. That's not a very common name these days. Babs. I don't know when it was a common name, but Babette's a cool name. Like, if you're having a baby soon, and it's a girl, don't ma name a guy Babette. This is coming from a guy named Kim, trust me. <laughs> don't name a, a guy Babette. <laughs> Uh, yeah, that would be an awesome name for a, a little girl. Should go by Babs. Should go by Babette, because it's awesome. Or you could just call her Baby. Until she's old, in which case that's weird. Although I call babies Baby anyway. Hello, Baby. Have you done your taxes yet? I also love talking to babies as if they're adults. Not sure why. Um, it just strikes me as kind of funny. <laughs> and I enjoy doing it. I don't need to air render this guy. I'm just going to run across. And just punch him. Just punch him square in the back of the head. See how much he likes that. Then I'm going to turn around like I don't know who did it. <laughs> it wasn't me. What? I don't, I don't know what happened there. So now that I've learned that you can't take actions when you're in the river, I'm going to put her right next to the river. Because <laughs> uh, I have a feeling that, that guy's not going to run up and do anything if he can't actually do anything. So that's cool. Yay! Ileana! I like Ileana. She's a good character. That's... Mm, I kind of wish they would have let you pick your starting clan, like, pick and choose the different races and stuff you wanted. They kind of gave you one of each, and they gave you kind of, this is the type of job this race should be. Because I'm probably going to stick with these characters now for the rest of the game. And I will regret replacing any of them. Like, Monteblanc and your main character never changed the way they look, and that upsets me so much. So I would have much preferred had they let you kind of design the team you wanted because Istvan's 
awesome. Like, he's a great white mage, but maybe I don't want a white mage that is Eeyore. So, maybe you should let me choose what I want on my team. Maybe I want a full team of all Banga. Let me do that, because there's no way I can replace any of these other characters now, because I'm so attached to them. I don't know. Maybe I'm being silly. Maybe that is foolishness. But, but yeah, it strikes me as a little odd that they wouldn't let you do something like that. I'm going to drop fire on this group. Makes me happy that I can target all three. I probably won't hit all three, but makes me happy that I can target all three. I can't hit any of them, apparently. That's very upsetting. Very, very upsetting. Well, I don't want uh, this Animus to put anyone to sleep, or if he's a thief, I don't want him stealing anything, so I'm going to stab him in the spine. <laughs> uh, and hopefully he will be dead soon. If my warrior gets a turn next, yay! Uh, I will probably attack him again. Nope, Barley. Barley! Oh, that's a cute name. For a Moogle. It's not Monteblank, but... Hmm. Well, I don't want to attack him up front, so... Oh, I can attack him from the side as well as her. Okay, well, let's see what the percentages are for... He's really hurt Kent. You know what? We have a good chance of taking him out. He's very dodgy, this Kent. I'm a little upset about that. He's dodged magic. He's dodged a sword. He's probably going to stab my monk in the back now. I was really hoping that he would be dead long before he got a chance to do this, but... It's upsetting. But oh well. If Satir gets... To, he has Protect, so that's handy. And now he's hiding in the river. Interesting. That is an interesting tactic. Hmm. I don't know why I would move there. I'm not... Actually... Let's take out this little Moogle. And then he puts him behind the soldier as well. Because nobody wants Satir behind them. Nobody, trust me. So that soldier is probably going to come attack my monk as well. Which is nice, because it means he won't be crossing the river to kill my archer and my white mage. But I'll face him this way, just to be on the safe side. Corello, what's your move, Corello? Yep, there we go. I love it when a plan comes together. He's not going to do anything to our monk. I'll probably get uh, Istavan to go heal him as well, if I get the opportunity. Um, actually... I wonder if she could do some damage to Kent. He's dodgy. But now he's in a river, so... Now he's down on one knee in a river. That can't be good. <laughs> Istvan make it over there? I think he'll be able to drop a heal. That should be fine. Action, white mage, cure. Right there? Yeah! Sweet. White magic knows no bounds. Except a, you know, slight range problem. Yay! Yeah, like this is... Even if you aren't fond of these characters, and I am, um, they're also going to be your strongest characters because they've been fighting with you for the longest, so of course they're leveled up more than everyone else. And so, like, even having Nate gone on a mission while I have, uh, new Nate, <laughs> my warrior, um, like, I feel bad that Nate is not getting this experience, so hopefully he's getting experienced on the mission that he's on, um, so that he's not falling too far behind. 0% chance of hitting her because she has reflexes. Well, let's see how you like being hit with a 100% combo. Jerk. This is your fault. 
If you just take a hit like a normal person, I wouldn't have had to do that. Now I'm going to drop magic on you and your friends. I hope you're happy. Because I am. Although I am in front of both of them. So I'm probably going to miss both of them as well. Hooray! At least I didn't miss both. That would have <laughs> that would have upset me again. He's not going to be able to hit her. Because he, she has a reflex. But maybe he can power break her. Yeah. Yeah, okay. So you can use abilities. Abilities get past uh, reflex. So that's good. And, I mean, I would have preferred her getting hurt. But her not being able to hurt me is also pretty awesome. So... No real complaints here. Nope, 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 nope. Nope. That's the wrong move. There is a guy in that river still. <laughs> I almost forgot about him. Kent, you're very cleverly hidden. There we go. <laughs> yeah, I, I forgot he didn't die. He was just kneeling in the river. <laughs> Okay, well, next time then. What a weird fight. You walk up to someone, punch them in the side, and then he like casually walks around behind you and punches you in the back. <laughs> it's not, not how any fight I've been in goes, but... I wouldn't just stand there while someone walked around to punch me in the ass, but I don't know. Obviously, the rules for combat are different in this world. He can just... You're not doing anything important. You just hang out there. Okay. So we're going to move him so that he has a higher percent. I'm going to stand behind her. And then I'm going to drop magic in front of her. <laughs> so that I don't hurt any of my guys. Wait. Oh, it said 0% chance there for a second, I think. I think that was a glitch. There we go. Alright, so that wasn't an unreasonably long or short battle, so I think, I guess that makes an episode. Again, not the fight I wanted to actually do, and not the fight that we've been meaning to do for the last, like, three episodes, but... That's fine, I guess. Let's keep up the good work. We got a satyr flute. That's cool. Hey, and Nate's back. Now we have an arm and eye. Whatever the heck that is for. I gotta look that up between episodes. Yay! Our skill is up. Again, don't know what any of those mean. But, whatever. Oh, we got a fencer. Sure. I have no reason not to accept you. Until we can't have any more people in the clan. I'm not sure what the max amount is. <laughs> then, we'll, then we'll worry about it. But until then, who gives a crap? Um, Alright. Well, uh, next time, we will actually get to the Giza Plains to do that mission where we pick flowers for a sad kid whose mom died. Uh, and I already said next time, but... Yeah, you'll see that next time on the Action Sofa.